if you are a country music fan, you have heard of Shane Minor, even if you didn't know it was him. His musical career kicked off in the late 90s, and he has written songs for artists such as Kenny Chesney and Diamond Rio. Minor was in Maine last week for the New England Brewers Guild, talking to brewery owners about the use of music in their tap rooms and making sure that artists are actually getting their fair cut for it. He was gracious enough to stop by our studio and chat for a bit about his whirlwind of a life that started in California singing in church. It was my escape. I loved it. Done something for my soul. You know, it's like everybody else. You, it, you, I was a kind of a dreamer and a, you know, a poet as a kid. I started writing songs as a young kid as a hobby. And, you know, it's my escape. And so I always wanted to get out of that little horse town I was in, you know, up in the mountains. So, I don't know. I use it as a, as a vehicle to get me out of there. So you, did you immediately try to get into the music business? Um, no, I did. I mean, I tried. I went to Los Angeles. I moved to Los Angeles and I had a small publishing deal down there. Of course, I wasn't making any money. I wasn't having any <laughs> hits. I just wasn't. So, and I was just starting out, you know, I was cutting my teeth in the music business and it was hard. LA was different. You know, I think, what was that Sinatra song saying? If I could make it there and talking about New York, if I could make it there, I'd make it anywhere. I think LA is just as tough. So, you know, it was a tough time. And so you became a police officer because that's not tough to become a police officer no. in Los Angeles. No, it's not tough at all, no. I'm being sarcastic, I know you you're are. not. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is very <laughs> tough. But see, what I originally did is applied for the fire department because a friend of mine told me, he said you can work three days on and have four days off, or whatever, back in those days. Perfect. Still make a living. You can be in L.A. You can write music. You can do what you want to do. So I got... I. I tested for them, got hired by them, they had a hiring freeze. So all the overflow applications went to different places in the city. So the next thing I'm getting a call from the Los Angeles Police Department and a recruiter and they worked four days on, three days off and it was great. It was a great experience at the time. So while you're a police officer, you meet someone who becomes instrumental in really mm -hmm. getting your career off the ground. Mm -hmm. What was that like to finally have that hit song that just launched your career? My first single was Slave to the Habit, which I didn't write. Toby Keith wrote that song. Toby Keith wrote me and that? To me and Toby were on the same label. Same as Shania. We're all on the same label. Mercury Nashville, and Toby wrote that song. And yeah, I think I don't remember where it went. Top 10 or somewhere it went. I don't remember where Can it went. Can you give us a little sample of that? If I remember it, you're calling me on Putting the you on the spot well, you here. You put me on the spot. Let's see. Uh, it wasn't uh, that long ago, Shane. It was almost, it was like. 99? Yeah, it was 99. That's not that long ago. What is that, ago. 19 years? 20, 20 years, right? Yeah, that's nothing. Okay. Uh, uh, boy, that's putting me on the spot. <laughs> I mean, hey, hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh, it ain't wrong. That, that, you're talking. It ain't wrong to say I can't start the day without a shot of what makes it right. Cause baby, if I miss just one little kiss, I'll be Jones until tonight. Cause I'm a slave to the habit. Slave to the habit, right? Perfect. See, see? You nailed it. I nailed it. Okay, yeah. audition's over, we're good. Over. We're good. Uh, what? God, I've been a long time since <laughs> I've done that song. It's a... Let me ask you this then, because you didn't write that one. What's the best song in your mind that you have written? Um, oh boy. God, why you gotta ask that question? I'm putting you on the spot again. This is what we do here on 207. It's tough. I like all, I mean, I like, there's some songs that mean a lot to me, songs that you'd never hear. You know, um, my mm -hmm. one of my favorite ones is, as a hit would be Beautiful Mess, Diamond Rio. Oh, that's a good one. Can you play us a little bit? Yeah, you want A little sample? Yeah. Um, my mind these days like I'm walking around in a haze hell I can't think straight I can't concentrate and I need a shade I go to work and I look tired the boss man says son you're gonna get fired oh the saints your style and behind my coffee cup I just 
What a beautiful mess, what a beautiful mess I'm in Spending all my time with you There's nothing else I'd rather do What a sweet addiction that I'm caught up in Cause I can't get enough Can't stop the hunger for your love What a beautiful, what a beautiful mess I'm in obviously have different meaning for you. You are a very successful writer. You've written right. for a lot of different artists. Sure. Um, what's more appealing to you, being the artist, Shane, or mm. being the writer, Shane? I love people. I love to perform. I love traveling. And, but I also love, you know, self-expression and, and, and what I have to say through a song, if it changes a life. I love it all. I love the creativity of writing a song. I love the writer part of me, but I sure miss the, the storytelling, being able to want to deliver what I got to say. Mm. It's hard sometimes. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I love writing the story that somebody else can deliver. But sometimes I, I was like, Man, that was kind of my song. That was from my heart. I mm -hmm. wish I could have been the one that said it. But I'm not, I don't get bitter about it. No, I'm but very thankful. sometimes when but you're watching the it. artist, are you ever like, well, I wish I, you would have hit that note this way, or I wish you would have done it this way. Do you, does that happen to you? Sometimes, not really, because everybody interprets it different. You sure. Know? The artist has his way to make it his, his or her own, and I'm the same way, and it, it, it all works, and I'm very thankful for all of it. But As I understand it, you're also mentoring mm -hmm. young artists. I do. What is the biggest message that you can give to someone who's trying to make it in the business like you were at one point? Don't stop. Don't stop and stay yourself. Okay, I literally could have sat there and talked to him all day. Super nice guy. Super interesting. Also, fun fact, he is related to Wyatt Earp. <laughs> okay. So there's that in his bloodline. But he was a really interesting guy. That's, now that's a country performer. I guess you might say a country western performer with real cred when you're related to Wyatt Earp. Yes, um, real cred. I was not here when you taped that interview, and uh, people in the people who are watching are also probably wondering. You guys didn't pay the light bill last week. We didn't. Two hundred seven no. line flashing on did. and off. That's why it's off right now. <laughs> Try to get <laughs> yeah. in touch with the utility company. And get that taken care of. <laughs> We're gonna hear one more song from Shane coming up. By the way. <laughs> 